Hey guys, this is Buona from Buona.tv and uh, today I want to talk about uh, some security topics, namely in the form of DNS. And uh, this topic was brought to me by Tuxedo Jericho from my chat room and uh, he actually posted a message on geeks.perillo.com when I asked for suggestions on what videos to do. He asked me to talk about DNS cache poisoning. And uh, this is a very serious topic because it could potentially do some serious damage to your computer and also expose information of your personal data. First off, let me give you the textbook definition of DNS cache poisoning. It's a maliciously created or unintended situation that provides data to a domain, domain name service or DNS uh, that did not originate from an authoritative, authoritative DNS source. So, in layman's terms, what that means is that DNS cache poisoning is a technique to fool your computer to think that you're actually going to one site and you're actually going to another. Here's a perfect example. Um, if you are infected with a DNS cache poisoning, you would type in www.paypal.com. You would think that you're actually going to paypal.com because you're typing it in your browser and uh, you may actually even see a uh, a certificate message come up depending on you know how sophisticated the uh, exploited site is so you think you're going to paypal you're actually not your dns cache has been poisoned now the dns cache what what caching does is that it saves you the uh, it, it saves you a trip to the DNS server because the DNS server says hey you want to go to www.google.com let me look at my book here uh, okay that's IP address blah 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 now go to this IP address so it resolves a name space into an IP address so when you poison the cache a lot of these addresses because DNS servers have to do millions and millions of lookups a day so what they do is that they cache DNS locally this is a feature of operating systems they say hey you've been to Google already today I already know what that IP address is so I'm just gonna look in my local cache for that IP address and I'm gonna go there this cache poisoning will poison your local cache so what it does is that it it hijacks essentially the DNS server to poison your cache and then when you go to a website you are essentially going somewhere where you shouldn't be. Now how can you protect yourself from DNS cache poisoning? You can use services like OpenDNS and I got an article here um, that says how OpenDNS, PowerDNS and MaraDNS remain unaffected by DNS cache poisoning and it turns out that when some of these first exploits were found OpenDNS namely which is what I use was not affected. It wasn't vulnerable to DNS cache poisoning. So I tell people all the time, I highly recommend OpenDNS because not only do they do a good job of managing your, your uh, DNS and provide reliable service, but they also give you a lot of bells and whistles and they are on top of security. So things like DNS cache poisoning don't tend to happen very often. So if you're with your ISP's DNS server, which is what most of you probably are, you might want to look into implementing OpenDNS because it's very easy to implement. All you have to do is change one setting on your computer and uh, then you'll be able to do that. Now, I probably should make a video on how to do that as well. I may do that after this video on how to implement OpenDNS on your system. It's very, very easy. They have detailed instructions on their website. So implementing OpenDNS is a great way to get around DNS cache poisoning. And I highly recommend you go to the Wikipedia article on DNS cache poisoning, which I quoted the definition. Also, just do a Google search for it, do research, see how people get infected. You know, it's all about this bind daemon, if you will. It is based on open architecture, and people have went inside and they've tried to exploit it. It's been since patched, but a lot of DNS servers haven't been patched yet. Is your DNS server patched? If you don't know, you might want to try using OpenDNS until you can find out for sure. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and that is OpenDNS. Not OpenDNS. This is Buona from Buona.tv. Take three. This is Buona from Buona.tv, and that is DNS cache poisoning. Take care. Bye-bye.